Ever get the feeling that you're being watched? This is told someone. First question, of course, is from the Emperor of Fabulous. Are you secretly a duck disguised as Pikachu? No. Well, yes. Not very well, though. Don't tell anybody. It's obvious that I'm not very well disguised as Pikachu. Next question, of course, is from Hervey Wasawas. Technically, everyone reaches 100. It's just a question of surviving the journey. Why isn't that... What? No? That wasn't a question. I just put it in there. I think I'm supposed to discuss this, but um, I don't know how to discuss it because, I mean, yes, there are a lot of 100-year-old corpses around, but some of them aren't exactly around anymore. I mean, you know, there's, you know, the people get, you know, cremated and, and eaten by vultures and stuff. I mean, if you're, if you're a Parsi, you get eaten by vultures, and I'm not judging. But, um, yeah, yeah, yes, some people don't survive living that long. But... They are that old, and I'm not judging, I'm not judging them at all. I don't know what I'm doing. Next question of course, uh, Jonathan Stern, why isn't that boy right? You know why he's not right, uh, you, you, you know, because, you know, he left. Come on. Those crickets are not loud enough. Next question, of course, is um, from Dog Whistle Sharam. Purple bananas or wet red bananas, which taste the best, and why don't supermarkets stock them? They don't stock them because if you... Look, bananas are grown in the tropical regions, and we are not in the tropical regions. And only the yellow ones, um, uh, you know, travel well for that distance. So I don't know what uh, a, a purple one or, a, or, a, or a, a red one tastes like, but I can simulate how they taste like this. of course is from Canadian Atheist. After we have sobered, sobered up that drunken sailor and we have no more use for the rusty razor, how should we do with that fretted sharp thing early in the morning? There's a little hole in the wall. You, you put it in there. Put the rusty razor in there. And when people are de demolishing it, like in 50 or 100 years or whatever, they'll find all of these rusty razors and they will think, oh, right, that's, that's where the, that's where the, the drunken sailor was or something. I don't know. It, that'd be a lot of drunken sailors because when, when all of those, when all of those rusty razors get, get sorted out from the hole in the wall that's sometimes in some old houses, then that's a lot of rusty razors or something. I don't know. I'm making this up. I'm sort of, I go along and ha ah, ha. I don't know. But, <sighs> Why am I doing this to myself? Joe Freddy asked the next question for the day. <sighs> if you could go back in time, what petunia horticulture tips would you give the 18 years old dangerously talented? Don't. They taste bad. Next question, of course, Nish Brown. Do you know any jokes uh, involving uh, ethnic people of various ethnic backgrounds uh, visiting as, as, as an establishment in search of refreshment? Okay. Oh, uh, right. Okay. I've got it. Mm, that, okay. The problem is that, um, you know, I don't want to look racist because you know, I've done that. I was, uh, I've done stuff that looks a little bit racist before. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to do, I've got to do something about peace, people of my own um, people that, you know, I mean, I, I used to be Catholic, so I can do something about a Catholic and about, and, and I don't know, I've got, 
I've got I've got Scottish and Irish ancestry maybe, I don't know. Okay, right, here we go, here we go. Um Okay, Catholic and um, Okay, here we go, here we go. Pope and a Scotsman walk into a bar. You know, Pope is uh, you know, a hard day of popery, whatever it is. Anyway, walks into a bar with a Scotsman, said Scotsman asks, let me buy you a drink. Well, thank you. It, look, I don't know what an Argentinian accent sounds like. And I first heard this joke when the Pope was German, okay? So I'm just going to say, well, well thank you. Um, what, what I would buy um, is, look, it says, I don't drink much. I don't drink much. But I always have, before bedtime, a little bit of schnapps. It's a special kind of schnapps that they brew in the monasteries. It's a little bit of schnapps and it goes a long way. You will sleep like a baby. Let's go have some schnapps. A bartender, two pints of schnapps. Are you sure this is very important schnapps? Aye, let's go for it. Two pints of schnapps. Okay, we'll go for schnapps. I'm gonna have two pints of schnapps. All right. Doing the arch. Just like drinking jam. You're all right, right? I'm going to have to drive us both home. So the Pope Mobile is out the back and, and the Pope drags him in, puts him in the back seat. So the Pope puts it into reverse, drags out 50 k's an hour. It's actually nothing. The, the Pope Mobile's a bit souped up, if you know what I mean. Has to be an emergency sometimes. Sometimes emergencies happen. It's got to it's gotta do, do the things. Anyway, does a handbrake turn round Trafalgar Square. They're in London, by the way. I don't know why I've put that in right now, but it's in there anyway. All right, down into the tube. Down the up, down escalator. Up the up, no, down the up escalator, up the down escalator. Around, surfing across the Thames. I don't know how it does it, but it's a Pope Mobile. It can do that sort of thing. Cross the Thames, over, over to uh, Tower Bridge, not London Bridge. London Bridge is not, not the, the, one, the one with the tall bits. That's Tower Bridge. Don't confuse Tower Bridge with London Bridge. Anyway, cross London Bridge while a, a boat is going over it. So it jumps across Tower Bridge. It's sort of like, it, 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 now he, 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 he's going fast. Uh, he's going full speed down towards the M1. Now, the M1, I don't know, that circular ring road around it. Anyway, it ends up bit looking like, um, you know, OJ Simpson, except fast. Anyway, and, 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 the, and the police are hot on his tail. Police are hot on his tail. They're catching up to him because their they, their cop cars are like souped up more than even though even though the Tories made massive cutbacks, they're still souped up enough to catch up to the Pope Mobile. And then what the head police guy gets on the radio. Oi. Um oh wait, damn it. What I don't know how I say oh there we go. English accent, got it, right. Oi! Stop it. Back off. Back off. Uh, officer? Why, why do we need to pull back? Because he's a VIP. What, what, sort of v, what sort of VIP? I, I don't know who it is. I just know it's a VIP. Um, can, you, can you please um, tell me why do you think he's a VIP? Well, look, I don't know who it is. All I know is the Pope's driving him. And that's it for Tell Someone for this week. If you would like to ask me a question, then ask me a question in the question asking place that I have charitably put in below. Or you can ask me, answer me, ask me, answer me, answer this dovetail question right here. Now I've got the English accent, well, one of them, there are many, there are a lot of English accents, and I can stick to one for a while and, and not 
Not like my German accents? Okay, I keep on slipping. <sighs> okay. I'm dangerously talented. I don't have a cool sign off. It's was recording, wasn't it?